Yo, what's going on, people? The patch notes for Operation White Noise are now live. We got a pretty short but interesting uh, changes coming to Rainbow Six Siege, and these were pretty unexpected. So let's get into it. So as we know, we'll be getting the three new operators: Doc, could be Vigil, and Sophia. And we'll also be getting some new seasonal skins, and I am loving these one as well. Like they are just killing it every season uh, with the new customization. We have five new skins here, but the ones to the left and right are cut off. But from what I'm seeing here, these look pretty good. I am definitely going to be purchasing the one in the dead center. This one, definitely liking that one. Scrolling down, we also get Sophia and a new mute uh, elite skin. This is a full customization from head to toe, uniform, headgear, um, weapon skins, a new title card when you select him, and a new end of screen animation if you get the MVP. So now on to general tweaks and improvements. Here's what's going to be changing. Uh, grenade trajectory synchronization. Uh, they'll be testing a new synchronization logic on some projectiles and they're mainly going to be focusing on grenades first. Not sure if these are just regular grenades or both impact and the frag grenades, but uh, we'll see. So what all this means is that um, you will throw your grenade, which is on the client side, and it will be desynchronized from the server side and your grenade is going to come back at you. Um, I actually have video evidence of this on my channel. This video is from like a year ago, so you can click that up there if uh, you don't really understand what any of this means. I don't use grenades much, but if you do, then uh, you might be pretty happy for this change. Um, basically what they're going to do is this is going to combine the player's movement with the grenade throw. So what it says here is the initial velocity of the grenade will now be combined with the thrower's movement velocity at the time the grenade was thrown. The thrower's velocity will therefore modify the trajectory of the grenade in these ways. So if throwing a grenade while moving forward will result in a longer throw. Throwing a grenade while moving backwards will result in a shorter throw. And if you're strafing left and right while you're throwing the grenade, this is going to affect the lateral movement of the grenade. So this change is currently in effect on the technical test server. So if you're on PC and you're in the TTS, then uh, throwing grenades might be a little bit different compared to the actual base game. Now what else is receiving changes are actually the pistols and their recoil. And it says we have changed the pistol animation for greater player comfort. Our overall goal is to make pistols a true choice for players and not just a last resort when you run off bullets. And I, I can agree with that statement. I only really use my pistol um, when I'm out of bullets on my main weapon or for shooting at drones. So it also says before this change you always had to aim down the sight because the animation would make the barrel of the pistol tilt up in the middle of the screen where the bullet goes. And as a player you would then have to guess where the enemy is. And this issue is especially true if you were aiming for their head. Once again, I can agree with this statement. Uh, trying to headshot someone while using a pistol is kind of hard because it just like goes straight up in the middle of the air and kind of blocks the person altogether. And they've also increased the rate of fire on all the pistols so players can now shoot and empty their magazine significantly faster with these changes. They also made this change to tie into uh, making the pistols more lethal. Once again, they want pistols to be your first choice and not just a last resort. So I'm pretty eager to uh, test out this change as well to the pistols. Uh, let's see what else is next. They're adding a new UI indicator for buffs and debuffs. It says we're introducing buff and debuff indicators on the UI HUD. This will allow for better visualization of when you, for example, have rook armor on or stepped on one of Legion's mine. With the new visual unification of all effects on the player's character, this means anything that you have applied to you is now displayed. This includes rook's armor, jackal's mark, and if you're doing the marking as jackal, Legion's go mine, and Dokubi's phone hack. And these will also be color coded. Blue is for a positive effect like you have on the rock armor and red will be a negative effect as when you step on one of Legion's goo mine and you're taking damage. And all the rest are bug fixes. Unfortunately, they still did not fix uh, Blackbeard's speed problem. But yeah, that's been it for these patch notes. New season drops December the 5th. If you missed the live stream yesterday, then um, I got you covered in all the details. You can check that video up top there. But that's been it for this patch notes video. If you found this helpful, you can leave a like or share it around. And subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.